Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Cyberverse Battle for Cybertron Ultimate Energon Armor Optimus Prime and I always try to find a reason to love every one of my Optimus Prime figures. I always have to look for a redeeming quality because I just love the character and the toys so much. Every rare once in a while, a figure comes along that is just unredeemable and I just cannot find anything to like about it. And unfortunately, spoiler alert, this is one of them. <laughs> um, released in February of 2020, this figure is currently in stores right now as of the time of this recording and retails for approximately $30, which was one of the things I was kind of on the fence for. I, I saw this figure on the shelf uh, several times and I kept passing it up. I was curious about it. It looked cool in the package, it, but the $30 price point really kind of had me wondering if it was gonna be worth it. Eventually, I just finally said, you know, it looks cool in the package. It, it, it looks like it could be a really neat kid's toy. And I have a two-year-old daughter that likes some of my, uh, the, the, the little uh, Fisher Pricey Optimus Prime figures. Maybe she'll like this one too. Worst case scenario, you know, it, it, it'll either be a good display piece or it'll be a good toy for her. Um, it's honestly turned into neither. <laughs> <laughs> I have been very disappointed with this figure. So here's Optimus in his truck mode, and he measures approximately seven and a half inches long, about three and a half at the top of these uh, things here on the back. And, and he rolls okay, uh, and he looks okay-ish. Uh, he looks like some sort of a battle truck from certain angles. Like I, I do like the truck, the front of the truck. It looks pretty nice. Um, the, the smokestacks here pointing straight forward though, kind of kill it, um, you know, and then you, when you go off to the side, you can just see it's a, it's a, it's a robot just laying on its side. Um, not a lot of care or detail went into this figure, but as far as truck mode goes, he rolls okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't hold well together. These arms are constantly coming untabbed and just kind of flopping around. And this is something that you're gonna notice about this figure is that he's kind of a floppy mess. Um, so, so anyway, so there's there's really, there's the truck mode and not a whole lot more to say about it other than it rolls. And I guess if that's what he's supposed to do, then he does that okay. Uh, he's got the blue windshields on the front there with the black uh, windshield wipers. He's got some silver on the headlights with some yellow gray unpainted bumper, gray unpainted bumper on the back, no details on the back. You got a, some molded details there for the tail lights, but nothing is painted in. And of course, you know, the sides don't really say anything that the wheels are not painted and there's, there's just not a whole lot of detail here. He's got what looks like some intakes here in the back. And that's, uh, I guess, pretty much it for the truck mode. So getting into transformation again, it is uh, a, aimed at a young audience, six and below. So it's gonna be a relatively uh, simple transformation. Let's get all the way backed up and shift it. We're gonna get a little tall. We're gonna take the back of the truck here. This is gonna flip around. And then there's a little tab right there. This is, should tab into the uh, front there. And as you saw, it popped off on its own. There it is again, it just pops off. It does not stay tabbed in. It just pops off, so. And then you can stand them up. Let's uh, move up a little higher. Okay, uh, we're gonna take, well, let's do this. We're gonna take the front of the truck and the front of the truck is gonna unpeg. It's barely tabbed in. You've got these two little tabs here and here that were tabbed into these slots on the top of the shoulders there and there. So you can bring this out and forward and you can see already that the feet came off again. And then you stand them up. Now, what's supposed to happen here? is this is his weapon, this is his ax, and this is gonna flip up. And what's supposed to happen here is you're gonna pull this up, and as you pull, his legs are gonna extend, so he's gonna get taller, and then his entire top half of the body is supposed to spin, and spin the arms and the chest into position. That's not really gonna happen, but that's what's supposed to happen. It, Kinda halfway happened the first time we transformed them and then it never did it again. So here we go. We'll pull this up and you can see the, he, he's extending and the arms are coming out. 
and now at that point where you heard that 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 kind of that rip that's when he's supposed to spin but the little teeth here are just not grabbing onto the gears but at that point when you pull him up what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to start spinning like that and finally he ends up looking you know something like that okay so finally you're going to come around just get him all straightened up <clears throat> he's got this little that came off that's a spoiler alert I'm not supposed to be out yet okay there's a little tab right there on the back of his waist you're supposed to push on this and that is supposed to hold the torso in place so that it doesn't spin supposed to spoiler alert it doesn't work either but there you go there is optimus prime in robot mode and you know the robot mode looks okay uh here in robot mode optimus is approximately nine and a half inches tall and again he looks pretty cool as a display piece that would be pretty neat um but that's one of these figures that you really just kind of put it there and don't touch it you can't really play with this thing because the the, the theme of this figure is he's a floppy mess and you see that the torso has already come undone so you know you can tab it there it is there it's tabbed and instantly it's not tabbed in again it just c comes off the chest flops around, the arms flop around, the feet are constantly coming off. This is just a complete mess. So he's not even fun to play with for little kids. A little kid grabs this thing and it does that immediately and they can't really pose them or do anything with them because when you're trying to do something with one arm, the rest of the body's doing something else. It's an absolute floppy mess. It's, it's just absolutely terrible. Um, I really, I wanted to like this figure. I really did. Um, I've actually had this for a while. I've been holding off on shooting this uh, because I was just trying to find something positive to say, but I've, I've just had it. <laughs> I just can't find anything nice to say about this thing. It's a mess. Articulation, the shoulders can go forward or all the way around forward and backwards. Shoulders can go in and out that far and then the elbows can bend on, at about a 90. I don't think, didn't think so now. No, the wrist does not have any articulation. Of course, the head is in place. I, I suppose you could say he's got waist articulation to some degree, because the head's not gonna move, just the chest and, or the torso. And of course, nothing at the legs or anything else like that, so. He does have the Energon armor feature, and that's these uh, translucent blue pieces that you saw in the back here. Uh, these are spring-loaded, so all you have to do to deploy those is, again, make sure he's standing straight. And you're going to take these tabs on the side of the feet here and push down on those and the whole thing's going to just pop up and over his head and shoulders like that that works okay that actually does work pretty good and it i personally am not a fan of this look uh but i will say one thing about it is that it helps to hold the torso in place so that's at least something uh i see that i i don't know if i said it the robot mode is approximately nine and a half inches tall so he's pretty tall makes for tall display piece and of course you've got this axe part here which can clip into any one of the hands you're going to want to use this piece up here so that it stays in place it just clips in and that's it and that's all he's going to do with it and he's just going to stand there and be floppy and static <laughs> that's about it let's bring the camera up a bit uh, so we can get a better look at him um, yeah, that's really kind of about it, all that I had to say for this figure. Um, I wanted to like it. I thought he looked cool in the package. I thought he would either make a nice display piece for my shelf, uh, my Optimus Prime collection whenever my, my room is finally built up, or maybe um, a cool toy for my two-year-old daughter to play with. Um, and it doesn't look like it's really going to be either. Um, this went into her, her toys and she looked at it once and then she just keeps playing with the other, uh, heroes, the, the, the little heroes ones. She, she'd rather play with those than this one. So, um, my suggestion is avoid this figure. <laughs> I think that about does it for Transformers Cyberverse, Battle for Cybertron, Ultimate Energon Armor. Optimus Prime. What did you think of this figure? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got that donate button up there now if you want to hit on that. I certainly would appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.